All right, what is up beautiful people? Hope you're having a beautiful day because I'm having a beautiful day. So recently I've started a lean bulk and I get a lot of questions regarding my diet. So I thought I'd take you guys through a full day of eating to put on lean mass. So basically I am lean bulking right now. And what is lean bulking? Lean bulking is putting on as much lean muscle as you possibly can whilst putting on as little fat as you possibly can. If you wanna learn more about that, I'll have a link down in the description. I go over 100% what lean bulking is and how to do it. So I'm gonna get into my first meal. So my first meal is sweet potato and not only am I gonna show you 100% the foods that I usually eat day to day to put on lean muscle, I'm also gonna show you how to cook those foods. Cooking for convenience as well as uh, time efficiency. First meal is going to be sweet potato and chicken. How to cook the sweet potato, I will show you right now. All right, so first you wanna grab your sweet potato and then just give it a wash. Right, the sweet potato is gonna be very, <laughs> quite dirty, so you wanna wash off any excess dirt that might still be left on there. Now that you've got your moist sweet potato, you just wanna stab it. And then what you wanna do with your sweet potato is put it right into the oven for seven minutes. All right, so the sweet potato is now done. So the final ingredient to sweet potato is peanut butter. Now this is surprisingly really damn good. If you are open-minded and you're having peanut butter, put the peanut butter in there and then cut your sweet potato into nice bite-sized pieces. I've already got some chicken cooked up. If you wanna know how to cook this chicken, I'll put a link down in the description. I just wanna give you a rundown on what this is. Your sweet potatoes are carbohydrates. Chicken is the protein and the peanut butter is the fats, right? All right, so how many carbs, proteins, and fats this is, I will put right here as well as calories. So this is sweet potato. Obviously I'm having sweet potato for breakfast. I don't really look at breakfast as, you know, I have to have cereal or toast or anything. This is my pre-workout meal and that's why I have sweet potato because I find that I get much better pumps and a better workout in general. Just because this has more potassium than if I was gonna have like a bowl of oats or something. That's meal one. I'm gonna eat this. I'll let it digest for about 45 minutes to an hour and then head off to the gym. Super pumped, so I'm gonna get into that in three, two, one. Who will love you? Who will fight? And who will fall far behind? So right here, I have my second meal of the day. This is my post-workout meal. It is 50 grams of cocoa cereal flavor, my protein, 100 grams of Cheerios, and one cup of almond milk, as well as a little sprinkle of the cinnamon. The macros and calories for this meal are right there. This meal is pretty fast digesting carbs. The Cheerios have a little bit of sugar in them. The point of that is it's after my workout and I want to get in carbs quick and get in proteins real quick because I've completely demolished the muscles. That was in a pretty intense workout. So that's the idea behind having cereal after a workout. And this just tastes absolutely amazing. Like this literally tastes so good after a workout. Cereal and protein milk makes it taste like chocolate milk. So if you're a big fan of chocolate milk, shut up, give that a go. That workout was pretty intense. It was my back workout. I did a more hypertrophy based workout. So for, you, for those of you that have been following me for uh, the past week or so, I have swapped into a more strength based program just for the next six weeks. I haven't trained in that kind of way hypertrophy in a little while. So it was just so 
good to be back. Just absolutely killing that. Getting blood into the muscle. Like that's the way I prefer to train. Really good to be back doing that. Meal two, gonna go eat this and I'll catch you at Z meal three. Ooh, it's getting so cold and dark here. All right, so meal three on the agenda. I'm gonna take you through best way to make oats real quick right now. So here we go, dude. Toothpick life, by the way. Hillbilly, man. Once upon a time, once upon a time, I was a hillbilly, man. All right, first off, get a bowl. And fill the bowl with uh, 80 grams of oats. 80 grams, perfect. Fill the oats up with water. Just a little bit of water. We don't want them too runny. Now take your oats and struggle to put them in the microwave with one hand. Oh, we got it. In the microwave we go. <laughs> Have a good time, guys. Two minutes. Now, while that's rolling, we want to set up just a couple of fruit, just one banana, and some blueberries. Yes, that's about it, mate. Now, that's a great cut. And then, this is how you really perfect the banana cut. Oh, boom, now we have so much variety. Every little bit of banana will uh, equate to a bite in my oats. Very nice. That is one clean cut of banana. I bet he's having fun in there. Look at that bowl spin. That is one great spin. Look at those revolutions per second. Oh, hello. Pull the oats out of the microwave. Hope you had a good time, guys. Now give those oats a good old twirl. Apply the egg whites. 150 grams will do. Stir. A scoop of protein powder. Continue to stir. 30 grams of blueberries. Now these blueberries are frozen, so we're gonna put it back into the microwave for one minute. Now all that is left to put in uh, the delicious oats is peanut butter. What else? And a uh, banana and cinnamon to taste. Oh. Oh, I know that is a lot of cinnamon. Guys, I did that one instead of this one. 20 grams of peanut butter. Give it a little stir. And there we have it, fam. Oh, it's so good. All right, so this is pretty much like a bowl of chocolate oats. The protein powder makes it taste so much better. Peanut butter, banana, blueberries, so much stuff going on. That's what I like to see. Macro is gonna be right here. And this meal three. Gonna have meal four later on. I might have something a little bit naughty, so I'll see ya at meal four. Are right, you ready? Three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Work them abs. All right, so fourth meal, right, final meal. I do have like 100 carbs, like 70 grams of protein, and about 20 grams of fat left. Usually Tuesdays I'll have something like Ben and Jerry's or something, but instead I'm just gonna have just a decent meal. I'm gonna show you what I get, so we're gonna go on a hunt for a uh, restaurant right now. I'm as orange as the sun. All right, so the hunt for the perfect restaurant begins. Uh, Tani will tell ya, I'm very picky with my uh, places to eat, so um, we'll start the uh, journey here on uh, the, uh, the, the beautiful boulevard no. of Chadston. What are you saying? A, what? Can I set a bet? What? I bet we'll end up a grill. Okay, I bet you're wrong. All right, so I'm just getting a hot chocolate for the road because places here to eat aren't great. So I'm gonna go get some uh, something. I'll show you when we get there. I ain't here to pick and choose. I ain't here to sing the blues. I'm just here to spread the clues. I'm just here to spread the news. Everybody know I do. Listen, I ain't ashamed to be white. I ain't ashamed to be black. I ain't ashamed of my beautiful Mexican. Decided to get a uh, bit of pasta. It's cold, cold night, so I thought nice hot pasta will do wonders for that. We got some chips as well, so that's good. Uh, really pumped with that. Uh, Tony's making fun of my little hand movements right now. I do that. I talk with my hands. Yeah, you're Italian. I'm, I'm Italian. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this is a nice little test for you guys. I want you guys, if you watch to this point, guess down below what ethnicity I am. All right, food time. All right, so this place is pretty cool, right? So this is pasta, it's bolognese with uh, chicken, extra chicken. It also comes with a slice of bread, which is really nice. A lot of parmesan cheese. Super delicious, gonna dig into that. Tiny got a carbonara, because uh, she wants to feel bad later on. It's not carbonara. What is it? It's pole e fungi. So this is just a ton of like wedge-like chips, drenched in parmesan cheese. Holy guacamole. Good stuff. Matter of fact, I know you fucking with that. And I'm not scared of the people who tell me I should be. Do what you love and don't ever wonder what it could be. Everybody for my hood, everybody know I'm good. Sometimes I'm misunderstood, but that's just the uneducated right, and so never related. I'm going to finish off my macronutrients with a nice little froyo. I don't know the calories in this or the macros, for instance, but if I had to guesstimate, I'm gonna guess, which brings my total daily intake of calories to 
And yeah, that's it. That's my full day of eating. Obviously, the last two meals were more of cheats. This is kind of my cheat day, Tuesday, so I do like to have a cheat meal. Just gonna wrap the video up here. Hope you enjoyed watching because I enjoyed making and I will catch you in the next one later.